Good morning. Hey, it's early Monday and I'm out on the Willoway dock and the guys are jumping right now getting these docks and trucks loaded. Let's take a walk through the dock. So to get started here, we're looking at some two gallon summer crush. You know, we have a lot of these great looking hydrangeas. They're just starting to bud. This is a perfect time to get them. Next up here, we're looking at Dutia. These are Yuki cherry blossoms. These are perfect. You know, they're starting to color up here. Nice looking buds, beautiful plants. Also, a Stilby right now is looking good. Nice, heavy, full plants coming on. And the perennial hibiscus. Several varieties are up. The buds are at the tips. So that's what you want to do is get these out now so they're blooming on the lots. And then coming over here, we're looking at Lowscape Mound. Another gorgeous landscape plant. This is adaptable to so many locations. Here we have the Dianthus Paint the Town. Again, those are great looking plants here this week. A lot of Leucanthemum or leaf and bud. I'll try to get out and show you some of those uh, later in the video. The Crimson Cutie Barberry, hot plant. We've seen that several times on the dock. Nice looking perennials. Here we're looking at Hosta Patriot. Man, that color is really shining out. Again, a lot of ferns from the greenhouse. We've seen those and we'll see more of them. Here we're looking at uh, Hydrangea paniculatas. This one happens to be a little lime. And then the buds on the, the Bloomerang Dark Purple. Guys trimmed back these Ligustrum Vickeries and now they're coloring out with a nice color. The Annabelle type Hydrangeas are looking good. Then coming back here, nice crop of these three gallon burning bush. Carex grass are coming on very strong. Here we're looking at the Achilles. Nice looking, I believe those are uh, strawberry seduction. Again, roses are looking fantastic right now. This is a good time too, we're in our new crop. And you can see they're budded up like crazy. They're gonna come on strong. And then this one is Wadilla. This one is Stunner. Nice plant there. Gonna hold that color for you all season long. Good value on these two gallon plants. Here we have Mr. Bowling Ball. Look at that crop. Nice consistent pull there, good value. A lot of the salvias are up looking good as well. And then I'm going to come up here. The Pugster series is shipping in uh, Budlias as well as the first editions. And in the background there, we're looking at our three gallon Ramus Fine Line. Here's another look at those three gallon Ramus Fine Line. Again, filling out nicely. Here we have uh, Bellabin and Myrise. You know, the heat this weekend, they're starting to go out of bloom, but I mean, holy smokes, these are big three gallon plants. And I'm going to spin over here. We have Lavender Phenomenal. Again, a lot of nice Lucanthemum, My Monets and Gallons. See a lot of those Dutzias going out. Hostas are looking really good. Roses are looking fantastic. Again, those are butted up nicely. And then here we're looking at the Paint the Town, Dianthus, as well as Allium Serendipity. More of the Lavender Phenomenals. Again, the Achilles is looking good. Here we're looking at uh, Rose, Hot Paprika, and Paprika are going out. A lot of great looking uh, blueberries. And then we're coming up here, you see the bloom coming out on Iris Caesar's brother. Nice looking Coreopsis that we have here. This is uh, Zagreb, I believe, and then we're coming in. That's uh, Miss Molly on the Budlia. Again, Budlias are starting to shine. More of these gorgeous ferns, guys. You know, if you got these on order, I definitely got them. More of the beautiful uh, Coreopsis in the background there. We're looking at uh, some Nepeta starting to bloom. And then and more of the Delphiniums. We'll see more of those later on here. Very nice. Coming down here, Rutabecchia. Here's uh, Veronica, Pink Moody Blues. Again, a lot of nice roses that we have available here. Leaf and bud. You know, the buds are tight to start to open, which is great. A lot of varieties of these perennial hibiscus. Again, that's when you want. Here we're looking at uh, more of the paniculatas. These are limelight prime, I believe. Nice looking plants there. Several varieties of paniculatas are filling out those containers. Looking good. That trimming really shaped them up. Then coming down here, we're looking at epimediums. Fantastic plant again for dry shade. Beautiful perennial. Around there, more of those endless summer hydrangeas, leaf and bud again. Itea, this one's little Henry. Coming over here, we're looking at more of the Miss Kim lilacs. Again, those are coming in the prime. 
Here we have an American Beauty's native. This one is the uh, Shenandoah grass. Nice heavy plants. Again, always popular in the dock is Crimson Cutie. Nice, beautiful red color. Non-invasive, certified. Nice. And kicking over here. Again, a little closer look at where we're at with the summer crush and endless summers. Good selection on these. We have twos and threes in the same state of bloom. Again, nice, nice uh, stage here. You get them in, they're going to start to color up here shortly and bloom in the lots or in your garden. Gorgeous new gen boxwood shipping out here. These are new gen freedoms and threes. Here we have some drift roses. Again, to show you, they're just loaded with flower buds. This is when you want to get them. They're going to get in on the lots or in your yard and give you a lot of nice color this summer. Here in the background there, we're looking at that Napata starting to come up. We have Monardas. Here we have more of the Coreopsis, the Gravid Moonbeam. Some of the Subulata Phlox. Man, there's a lot of Dutzia. These are Cherry Blossom and Yuki's right now. Perfect. Butted out, looking good. And that gorgeous color on the Hakanaloa, all gold and Oriola. Again, you can see the guys are loading these up. You see all of the beautiful hydrangeas, burning bush. Here we have some Carl Forrester grass. A lot of nice stuff going out. Gorgeous color on these Salix Nishikis here. You can see that heat brought that color out. We have them in tree form and threes. They're starting to color up. That's a hot seller for the summer. And then over here, we're looking at seven gallon. These are limelight trees. Beautiful plants here, guys. A lot of nice color. Here's another blooming easy plant. This is another paniculata and two gallons. Good price point on these. This is a lava lamp flare. Again, this is going to open white and give it that stunning red color. Here we're looking at some Japanese bloodgrass. Again, the hot paprika roses. Look at that nice color there. Summer crushes. Again, nice tight buds. We're going to see a few of the sunblaze roses going out this week. Just perfect. Nice tight buds, just starting to color up. Well, you see, there's a ton of these going out this week and today, especially. These endless summer uh, varieties, again, summer crushes, as hot in the dock on some of the orders we're looking at right now, but all of them are in this stage. Beautiful. Nice consistent pull. This one is two gallon Spirea Rainbow Fizz. They're just at uh, the buds at the top. They're going to color up here shortly. Again, here we're looking at some uh, Penicetum grass, looking good. Then backing up here, we have Itea Henry's Garnet. More of the New Gen Boxwood, those are Freedom, Independence. Then coming back here, we have uh, Limelight Prime and uh, Quickfire Fab, again, are all looking good. Menarda, this is the new Sugar Buzz series. Nice butted up plants there, just coming in. See the buds at the top, looking good. Napa the Walker's low. More great paniculatas. Again, the guys trimmed those, brought them out, shaped them up. We're not going to see blooms for a little while, but you know they're all ready for you. Here we're looking at vanilla strawberry. Again, Limelight Prime Quickfire Fab has been on the dock a lot today. And I wanted to come in here and show you these uh, Salix Nishikis. Look at that color, guys. Landscapers, check these out. You know, if you're buying in. Uh, Field product, consider these. These are 15 gallon hick size. Those are landscape grape plants looking sensational. Another great color plant, this is a Serum Splendent. You know, wonderful in the shade to give you some nice color. Hydrangea a wee bit grumpy, still coming out there. Nice looking uh, ferns again. And then here we're looking at uh, Annabelle Hydrangea. Just coming through, look at those nice threes guys. Sedums are looking really good. Here we're looking at some of the sun sparklers. Here we have Angelina. Sedum wildfire. And coming over there, another nice consistent pull. These are three gallon green jump box. See the buds popping out at the top there? Those are uh, Lucanthemum back. Again, perfect time to get those. Nice buds popping out on the Glardy as well. That's the spin top series. Here we're looking at the crop of two gallon Hamlins. Very nice, you know. Heat's starting to kick the grasses in here. Beautiful, two gallon hammocks. Look at the bud and bloom on the Asclepsias there. You know, that's a plant that you want. This is an American Beauties plant, great for the butterfly garden and native plants. 
They come in here, always gorgeous. Heucra, this is Northern Exposure Purple. Liquidaria, that's Pandora in the back. Rich, deep purple color there. Again, nice consistent pull on this Nepeta. Then I'm gonna back up here, several varieties of the Stovey. Look at that nice bud popping out at the top. These are gonna start coloring up in the yards. You wanna get them on your displays. Closer look at that Ligularia, nice, beautiful, rich color. Here we're looking at Buxus uh, Green Velvets, nice flush of growth. And then coming here, more knockouts, so you can see them up close and personal. Look at the buds on those, incredible amount of buds. Again, nice pull on these two gallon Hamlins. Gonna come over here. Look at that, that's Veronica Royal Purple. Very nice full flex. Wow, you can see the boxwood are hot. We got gorgeous green velvet, winter gems, new gems, nice boxwood selection. Coming down here, we're starting to see a little buds coming on, these big, full, heavy geranium roseanne. Very popular plant. Nice. Budley is hot. It's coming out there. We have all those beautiful first editions. Now we're giving you a peek here. This is the Pugster series from Proven Winners. Nice short stature on these. Gorgeous plants. Look at that plant, guys. This one happens to be Pugster Blue. You can see here, those seven gallon hydrangea trees are hot. Coming down here, I wanted to show you Baptisia. Again, starting to throw some color. Here we're looking at Sorberia Cherry on top. If you haven't used this Sorberia, it's got gray color. It's uh, not as a, uh, spreading as some of the other Sorberia. It's gonna be tight, compact color. This summer, you're gonna get a pop of color with flower, but the foliage is stunning year long. Really nice Echinacea starting to pop up. Again, that's a great summer color plant. You want to get your echinacea in. We have several varieties. We'll peek in the house here in a little bit. But man, look at those flower buds. And the landscape plan here is our seven gallon heads columnaris. We also have some blue points to look at. So if you're looking for upright junipers, these are beautiful. Don't forget your annuals here. I'm looking at a lot of these gorgeous court annuals going out. Here we got some uh, gorgeous uh, Geraniums and dragon wing begonias. You can see the potted trees, Dina trees, field stock going out. A lot of trees coming up to the dock here. If you're looking for field specimen, we have some stock BB to look at, but continuing the beautiful potted trees coming up for sale. Again, look at these blooming easy plants here. We're looking at Wagella Stunner, all these gorgeous spireas loading up, people taking advantage of. Uh, some of the deals we got out now and these gorgeous plants. Good values here. Don't miss that opportunity. Here you can see the carex grass, a lot of great varieties of hostas again, all over the dock. Ferns are looking sensational. Jay's these Dutia uh, Yuki series are all over the dock. And again, the Crimson Cuties, ever popular. Beautiful full plants here. More things coming up to the dock. You know, as quickly as the guy's loading, they're bringing more up here. Again, that Ligustrum Vickery is starting to fill out from a trim. Nicely shaped, going to give you a lot of nice shelf life. Again, we're looking at the roses. Perfect here because, you know, they're tight budded. They're just starting to peak color. Nice looking knockouts here. You can see consistency of the crop as they come up. Knockout roses. More knockouts and here we're looking at the Drift Series. Again, this is going to come in here. You can see they're loaded with flower buds, guys. Incredible amount of buds. These are going to explode here in the next week or so. and going to look really good in your landscape around the lot. We're looking at the Pugsters. Again, we've seen those on the dock. You can see how many are coming up. You know, butterfly bush is hot. June is pollinator month. We're getting close. Everybody's stocking up. That's a great pollinator plant. Beautiful summer color plant. Budley of Pugsters. Again, here we're looking at Oh So Easy. This one is Paprika. It's got an, uh, just a unique color flower to it. Again, these are loaded with flower buds. Hot paprika is just a tinge darker in color. And then here we're looking at uh, all these gorgeous budded. These are petite knockout. So if you're looking for something on your patio, this is the trick here. You can put this one on your patio and have color all season long. Petite knockout. You can see the tropicals are coming off. Here we're looking at insetis. 
thought I'd pop off in some of the growing areas here today, give you something uh, different to see. And here we're looking at some of the echinaceas. I mean, the guys have done a fantastic job. You know, typically we get these ready this time of the year. You can see here, nice heavy plants loaded with flower buds. That's when you want to get them. They're going to have a lot of nice color here. Several varieties again, looking good. Good color spectrum. Nice heavy plants. Echinaceas. Again, I'm in another area here. The guys have several of these crops timed, so they obviously they're not all out at one time. But this is, uh, again, good timing, right? So this is when you want it for summer color. Again, this is great for pollinator season. Get those out for June. Beautiful, heavy plants. Look at the flower buds. I mean, it's incredible how many buds are on these plants. Going to give you some great color. Good selection here as well of varieties. Again, you know, several perennials are kind of focused right here today. Here is your astilbe. This one happens to be bridal veil. Nice, heavy plants, loaded with flower buds. They're just going to start to open up here. Again, fantastic opportunity to stock up on astilbe. So here is another astilbe. This one happens to be Fennel. Nice red here. You can see gorgeous uh, flower spikes popping up. Coming over here, several Provoscia varieties are also ready. Nice buds, good size on these Achillea. This one is Sunny Seduction. Here we're in a house with Delphiniums. This one is Breezing. You know, this is a new selection and, and breeding here that's going to hold these flower stems upright. They're budded up, looking sensational. This will give you a lot of nice color and shelf life on them. And we have several varieties here. This one is a little bit further along than, than the other ones, but again, this weather is kicking in and they're butted up and looking good. So here I'm looking at a crop of Pensamon Dakota Verde. And uh, Pensamon's a great crop here for summer color. You can see here they're just starting to throw flower spikes. Nice, beautiful perennials here. Again, Pensamon is one that you get in early. It's starting to throw flowers, so you know in the next few weeks, your displays are going to start rocking some color. Pensamon, Dakota Verde. Here we're looking at leucanthemums, and this one is banana cream too. Again, nice looking color here. We see they're loaded with uh, buds. They're starting to open up. Good choice. Leucanthemum, banana cream too. Another uh, leucanthemum, this one is a proven winter selection. This one is marshmallow. Holy smokes, you've got to see these flowers. Incredible, nice budded up plants here. Big flowers. I mean, look at that plant. Leucanthemum marshmallow. One more Leucanthemum to talk about today, and uh, we have several. I mean, the Leucanthemum Becky is also starting to throw uh, nice buds and blooms on them. But this is an interesting one, a proven winter selection again. This one is spun silk. And again, very large flowers to it. This one is loaded with buds. I mean, look at the buds on that. Nice flowers to it. Good value. This would really make those display shine for this weekend sales. Spun silk. Kind of a unique salvia. You know, we usually see hues of blue. This is a pink one. This one is called Bumbleberry. Coreopsis, again, is a great summer color plant. I really like this one. This is uh, one I use in my yard. This one is Little Bang Daybreak. Nice hues of orange and reds. Little Bang Daybreak. Another thing to consider for great summer color on your patio are the chick charms. You know, this happens to be one color, but there's several combinations in the tray, and uh, these are looking good. Chick charms. Another great uh, perennial, you know, for small spaces are the nooks and crannies. We've seen those several times on the dock. Great opportunity to fill in those small space or creative uh, patio containers. These are shipping fast. Be sure to get your nooks and crannies in. Look at this gorgeous little Veronica. Again, this is a nooks and cranny, but nice heavy budded plants looking good. Another quick peek. This is uh, scotch moss, but you know, you can use these in your container, you know, put them around your annuals and so forth. These are beautiful color plants. Again, nooks and crannies. All right, well, that was a quick walk through the dock and also some of our growing areas. I'm going to stop here with these beautiful uh, Delphinium breezing. Be sure to get with the sales team. Jeez, I hope we're loading the truck for you.